Sun Life Stadium, home to just football, now that the Florida Marlins have moved into their new ballpark, is the site for this matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Miami Dolphins. What a matchup we have at wide receiver today. Two of the biggest threats in the NFL who love to cause chaos for opposing defenses. How about this matchup, Phil? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. When you have uh, speedy wide receivers, what you have to do, you've got to make sure your safeties are smart, they're talented. Both teams have that because it is easy in this game nowadays to get the football to the wide receivers. If they can't get open down the field, just throw them some screens on the outside and dare the defense to tackle them. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Heading right. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but boy, this defense right now is not bending. Well, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Third down and eight. The reception, easy, wide open. Well, I think early in the game, anytime you cross the 50-yard line, it just gives you confidence that what you're doing is going to work today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that and take it on down into the end zone. First down, following the long play. And the give to Lamar Miller. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Play clock's running down. Throws to the right. And intercepted! Well, that's a rough way to get the game started, isn't it, Phil? Come out and throw an early pick. Oh, it is. It's a terrible way to start for the quarterback and everybody involved. But I'll tell you this, I think it was a terrible call. So the quarterback, when the play's not there, throw it away. He took a chance, and that's why it was intercepted. Chad Henney will take it right from the center. First and ten. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. He spins away from the tackle. Impressive piece of running by Maurice Jones-Drew. MJD, Maurice Jones-Drew. When you're as good as him, you get a nickname. That was a good run to pick up big yardage. First down here after the run. Back to the ground now on first down. The off-tackle run It's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle spot and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Gus Bradley is the new head coach here in Jacksonville. Has been the defensive coordinator in Seattle, and he can bring that same kind of success that he had with the Seahawks defensive unit. Things will be turning around here for the Jaguars. I have no doubt about it. The one thing Gus Bradley is going to bring to the Jaguars is this energy and excitement. He's going to take what he learned under Pete Carroll. I think it was kind of natural for Gus Bradley anyway, but take the Pete Carroll way, bring that here down to Jacksonville, and I'll tell you what it's going to do. It's going to translate into wins. Third and five following the incompletion. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Midway through the first, Maurice Jones-Drew. 
in on the stop. When you run off tackles, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Chad Henney will take it right from the center. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew, and that's a gain of ten. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run, gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Back to the running back. That's a gain of six. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. But that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. Heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second and goal from the four. Another carry here. Puts up six. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Jaguars lined up now for the point after. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Josh Scopey ready for the kickoff. the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Stands in the pocket. Jason Babbitt has the sack. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Looking across the middle, on the money. Quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. Third and short, following the completion. Slips right to his fingertips. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Offense lines up here. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's four down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. Chad Henney will take it right from the center. First and ten. Jones Drew's going to take the handoff now.
And as the first quarter comes to a close, we'll take a short break before the beginning of the second here in Miami Gardens, Florida. Nickel formation here for the defense. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And that's a gain of 10. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. They're able to move the chains after that last run. That's a mindless error on the offense. Still first down. It'll be first and 15. They send the tight end in motion. They'll run it off the toss. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Maurice Jones Drew lined up in the backfield. Delay of game there after the quarterback did not get the snap in time. Quarterback has a lot of jobs on the field. One of them is always watching the play clock. Make sure Still he down. avoids delay of games. Five yards in the NFL, man, that's five yards you don't want to give up. And here we have second down. Play action fake, looking to throw. Complete. Four yards. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Offense still looking for a first after that completion on second down. On the spot. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Offense lines up here. Fourth down, but want to take a timeout before they snap the football. Should be an easy one here. The kick is good. Way well, you come out there on the field as a defense, the offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and they gave up the field goal. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Yeah. 
Miller's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. And Wallace going to secure the handoff. Holds him to seven. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second and three. He's looking to the right here on this throw. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. First and ten. It's Miller. Slashing to the right side. Good piece of tackling. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go, and they stop him for a short game. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Throws the pass, and he's brought to the ground. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw down the field for that completion. They've got a first down now after that catch. He's got a little bit of daylight here. The Dolphins now move the chains. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? First and ten. Back to the ground. Drives ahead. No hesitation that time by the middle linebacker. He comes flying up in there, makes the hit, stuffs that run. This will be second down. Going across the middle. Cuts down and drawing close. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. Escaping the pressure. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. Kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Short's going to get set in the slot for the snap. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That ball is picked off. Breaks the tackle. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. down offense reading for the snap down the field oh almost caught well for some reason this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover too that's not the spot you want to go you want to look underneath or right down the middle failing to complete that one so second down here and it's incomplete that's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Split backfield here. Third and ten. And complete. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down.
Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Now on first down. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. Tackled at the 29-yard line. Chad Hitty will take it right from the center. Launching it deep. Jacksonville in the end zone for the touchdown. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Extra point is good. Jaguars ready for action. made right around the 26-yard line. To the ground here. And they're going to run it right. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard. It makes a good block. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. The Jaguars with two extra defensive backs in the dime. He makes the catch. A tackle that had to be made. That'll set up for a down. Well, Jim, you know, you got to give the defense credit here. There's a pass completion on third and short, but they are so fast and they tackle so well, they bring him down before he can pick up the first down. The Jaguars come out in a dime package. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. I just don't think that's a good job by the defense. It's fourth and short. You kind of know what the offense is going to do. They were not ready, and they give up the first down. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. He'll throw it over the middle. Tannehill on target and finds Mike Lovins with the completion. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Long gain sets them up here on this play. No way that would be completed. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses him. This will be the last play before halftime. Second and goal from the nine. Pass is made, but.
but the hit knocks the ball out incomplete that's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers make those receivers worry about coming over the middle they'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit From the nine, looking to the right side and throwing. Tipped away. That does it for the first half. Dolphins trail on this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Jaguars lead by 11. Let's check in now with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Guys, I caught up with Coach Bradley during halftime. His team has the lead, and he told me he's proud of the way his guys have battled it out there. He said it hasn't been pretty the whole time, but his players have been resilient, and that's a major factor in the score. Hopefully his players will keep it up here in the second half, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Maurice Jones-Drew lined up in the backfield. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. He's going deep, and it falls incomplete. Oh, they went for the big play that time, but just couldn't connect. I love it. I love it when offenses and quarterbacks throw the football down the field. Big plays win in the NFL. I'm, you know, Jim, i got to be honest. I'm sick of seeing all this dinking and dunking. Let's look for some big plays and chuck it down there. Shorts lined up in the slot. Second and ten. The give. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well and gets in there and makes the tackle for very little gain. It's third down Let's coming up. Throwing now to his left. Reaches out and grabs it. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Jones Drews in the backfield, single back set. First and ten, Maurice Jones Drew. And again, there's nowhere to run, maybe a yard. Maurice Jones-Drew lined up in the backfield. Second down and nine. Play action. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Jones Drews lined up as the single back. Trying to make something happen. Heaving it down the field. No stopping him. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback 
Good job of finding. He throws it down there, and he gets the easy touchdown. Oh, my gosh. When you miss an extra point, that is heartbreaking. you got to concentrate on an extra point just like you would a 50-yard field goal. It's like in golf. We see great golfers miss uh, putts from two feet away. Why? They didn't concentrate. Makes a move. It gets around the defender. Offense lines up here. First and ten. This is a screenplay all the way. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Throws to the right. Makes the grab, tackle down at the 46-yard line. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. And Wallace, a receiver in the slot. Second and 13. And he's taken down. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella. Busting through there and getting the sack on the QB. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. An incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. And Wallace in the slot. They motion the receiver around to the other side. He'll fire it out to the left. The Dolphins get a first down. Oh, I can't give all the credit to the offense here. They go for it on fourth down here in the second half. Even though they're losing, the defense should have known that that play was coming, and they should have stopped it. First and ten. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare hey, there, hey. no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Well, they got to the quarterback on first down. Sets up second and long. Had it, but dropped it. Failing to connect their third down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. The defense comes out of the dime. Looking long to Mike Wallace. They'll turn it over on downs. Man, you got to be smarter than that. You can't go for it every single time on fourth and long. There is a thing they have in the NFL. It's called a punt. Do it more often. Ohio! Ohio! Let's round! Let's round! They face first down. Running back in motion here. Ohio, Ohio. Play fake here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. 
Gain of 16. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it. You throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. That reception gave them the first down. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. Nice job that time on the defensive tackle. That's why you have these big old wide bodies in there to stop. Inside runs, good job. Second and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Jaguars now move the chains. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They'll go ground for about five. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Fifteen minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The Jaguars have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. Second down. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. They feed it to him again. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. play was a run third down coming up he'll fire it out to the left Justin Blackman hauls it in good play call that time by the offensive coordinator down inside when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone find ways to complete the pass they did that time First down here after the completion. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Touchdown! Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. An extra point is good. The Dolphins are back deep waiting for the kick. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. first down the tackle was made sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line and sometimes it's just bad defense they can't get to the quarterback and that's another completion by him. Mike Wallace makes the catch plenty of zip on that throw Jim Nance that was the old fly route when we were kids that's what they called it see if you can fly by the defensive back he did that time nice throw yeah. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. Here 
For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Almost intercepted. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on the line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Double tight end formation. The pass is intercepted. Gets past the first wave. Most NFL linebackers, they're quarter linemen. Good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. The jumbo set on the field. First and ten, Scott sells the play fake and looks downfield. Second down coming up. High formation and a handoff. They've got him down there. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Third and four, Maurice Jones-Drew. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. That's a timeout by the defense. First down here after the run. Another handoff, and he'll go to the left. Breaks the long one for the touchdown. Well, that was a good job on that touchdown that time, and I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. Extra point was good. Josh Stokey ready for the kickoff. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Two minute warning. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Makes the catch in the open field. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback Hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Second down after the incompletion. And he was wide open. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. And completion this time. Here they are inside the 20, and they keep hope alive. Yeah, they've done that. Now they got to do the hard part. When you get to this, this part of the field in the red zone, we know the defense is not worried about deep throws down the field. Falls out, and it's a takeaway. Got a big lane. Mm -hmm. 
they pounce on him there. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit him so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. First down here. They give it to the running back. Deion Jordan puts a stop to that one. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Second and five. The quarterback will hand it off. He stacked up at that point. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. The defense has to know the situation here. They know if they give up a touchdown, the game is over. So you play run all the way, be very aggressive, and try to stop them. Second down coming up. Looking to the right side and throwing. I'll tell you, it's getting ugly out here. What a job by the offense. So little time left to drive down the field and score. That just ices the game. Nice job by the whole football team today, but especially on the offensive side. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting to return the kick. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squid kick. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. That ball has been picked off. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. Throws to the right. Catch is made. That's what you got to do as a receiver in the NFL now. You, how about this play? He goes up high, makes the catch, takes the big hit, and holds on. Here they come to the 41-yard line. Prevent defense here, trying to avoid the deep pass. Going for the home run. But it's incomplete. We knew it early. This was blowout city from the beginning. Phil, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all 